All right, so this is my stock market update. I'm going to start with you here. Um, it is November 25th, 2024, and we're going to go through stocks. We're going to go through bonds, commodities, little Bitcoin, and then I'm going to give you my holiday projections uh, for those that I have projections for. So <laughs> stock market, um, as we're looking at the stock market, folks, uh, you can see here, um, <laughs> I've been talking about 600 now on SPY for, oh, wow, uh, it's been a while. And we hit 600 at the beginning of November, and we've come back, a little pullback. We hit it again, but something interesting happened here this month. The chart has changed. The chart was giving me an initial target at 600, and I thought, target acquired. We should expect to see a pullback. And while I do expect the pullback, What's changed is the nature of the move. The move is suggesting that we are now in an institutional phase of the stock market, and we should still expect, after a pause, a bull run into the retail phase. That's entirely possible that we could see here on the SPY. All right, um, bond market, pretty much doing the same thing it's been doing all year long, holding the line on both 87.50 to the downside and just over 100 on the upside. This is TLT, all right? This is not 30-year bonds. This is the 20-year iShares Treasury Index. It correlates very highly with the bond market. But year-to-date down about 6%, but it just really seems to be popping back and forth. And if you were to push this chart back in 2023, you'd see a lot of the same, all right? Um, trendless the entire year. I don't see, I, I see us staying inside this range. I don't see breakouts one way or another on this for any, uh, any large amount of time. Uh, speaking of trendless ranges, take a look at USO here. Um, slightly higher year to date, but if you were to look at where the low has been for the year, that was back at the beginning of the year. Where the high was for the year, that was in April. You take a look at where we are, you know, low to high and where we are now. We are just slightly below the average for the year. The seasonal bull doesn't really begin until February of 2025. So I kind of call this one trendless as well. Take a look at gold. Gold's had an incredible year. Yes, I've been talking about this pretty much all year. We had that initial thrust up. Then we kind of had this, I call it a bull market pause. Then we thrust it up again here uh, in the fall. So we had a spring up summer doldrums, fall up. And what's happened in November is interesting. We went from about, uh, gosh, close to 260 on GLD down to around the 236 area. We had a rebound. But coming into today, uh, some news out about China getting some, uh, spotting some big gold with several veins. Uh, and there's a lot of supply that could come on the market. That caused that to move lower. If this indeed is one of those a, B, C, or one, two, three corrections. The next area, if we break what last week's, two weeks ago support, would be down here where all of this congestion is just north of 230. That would be the next area that I think it would go to technically. Take a look at Bitcoin. Is it finally having a meaningful pullback? So today, earlier this morning, it was announced that Michael Saylor and his company, MicroStrategy, bought 55,000 BTC today, billions of dollars spent. But it looked like the market absorbed quite a bit of that because after that, we went from that 98K level down to 95,000 rather quickly. Um, I, when I snapped this, we were in the 96 area. But uh, if we do indeed have, I mean, if you go back and look, we have not had more than two down days since the before the election. Since the election, we've had mostly up days with the occasional down day here, there, and the other. There was a little two-day down day. I didn't see that. But it, this trend's been mostly up. You take a look at the move we've had. We did have a move that looked like this um, back about, what was it, about a week and a half ago. We'll see whether this uh, continues or whether we uh, we get an about face. Um, 90K 
is the area that is round number support. It's also where we saw a lot of congestion from about the 10th of November to around the 17th. So you go take us back a week or two, you'll see where that, that area is. Couple of points I want to make. Uh, we talked about AMBA about a month ago here, and I ended up buying some call options on these. I ended up selling them for a double today. I didn't sell them for a double. I had my double placed way back here. And of course, coming out of last week, we had a big move up for AMBA. And so those call options uh, it was actually kind of shocking when I saw the notification come through because I wasn't even looking at them. But that's what you need to do in order to get out of something uh, without looking at it every single day is put your exit order out ahead of time. I did that and uh, Robinhood notified me and I'm out of AMBA. The only other trade we have discussed in the last month was the technology sector. Uh, back in September, we were looking at December options and uh, it, it bullish from September 23rd. Uh, I ended up getting that spread on, and a lot of you saw me do this for $4.40. And you know how I am about ETFs. So I usually look for about 50% on those, and I'll, I'll sell off half. Well, that 50% came rather quickly. And then uh, we had a pullback. We had a run back up into November after the election to, to highs, pull back again. It's really kind of been languishing. Uh, I think the last time I checked, we were in the sevens, so slightly up on that. I'm holding out for something around the area of 880. That would be the double or, of course, when time expires on the clock. Uh, that, again, is XLK. All right, so I said I would talk about holiday projections. Here's what I'm seeing. Really three things. Stock market, and I'm looking at SPY. I expect it's going to move higher. I believe we are going to retest 600 here real soon. Um, and we will be in the 620 area by the end of December. That is trend. That is seasonality. That is buy in November. That is holiday rally. Commodities like USO and GLD, I think they're going to stay in their trading ranges. I don't see them making any kind of meaningful highs. And in fact, I have um, uh, USO in a seasonal bear opportunity right now. And GLD looks like it wants to pull back. Uh, from what we're experiencing here in here for the month. All right, so commodities, pretty much range trading. Bitcoin, let's talk about Bitcoin for a moment. So uh, we've been looking at this 100K mark here for the last uh, week or so. We've got a pullback today. I believe even if we pull back to the low 90s or even 90, uh, I believe we will break the 100K mark by the end of December. And I am targeting 109 by year's end. So that's my stock market update for you this week. Couple little extras on some stocks we talked about last month and holiday projections through year's end.